Hey guys, not your new queen is signing in. Um, gotta be quiet because it's morning time. Um, my son is with his father for the week until I figure it out. Um, I don't trust a soul in this house, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to lock myself in my room and just work for the week. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get in the way of my work and everything. I switched my phone over, so I now am the account holder for my phone this is the first time I have ever paid my own cell phone bill, and it's affordable, actually. <laughs> um, I got my own car insurance. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I tell you, when people want to be abusive towards you, they want to control everything you do, and they get shocked when you gain your own independence. <laughs> um I'm trying to save so I can move. Um, I'm trying to be low key, um, not tell them any of my plans so I can move. Um, I Again, I don't know who's watching my YouTube, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Um, as long as my son is happy, that's all that matters to me. Um, <laughs> uh, the father of my child um, is over it with me. Like, he just wants to be a father. That's it. Um, I was trying to see if maybe we can move in together to raise our child, co-parent with our child. He's like, no, we don't need to live together to raise our child. <laughs> But we're in the same boat. That's why I'm like, yo. But anyway. Like, I can be a good roommate. I know I wasn't in the beginning because of being drugged up all my life, basically. <laughs> since I was 15 years old. Since I was in high school. Um, getting harassed and borderline raped in school. So just getting harassed all the time um and i just i am my own company <clears throat> um like i said um on my spiritual journey i was into the whole new age thing i realized that um satan was deeply in the mix of it <clears throat> so in 2016, I think, no, 2015, I got a glimpse of God. 2016, it's like ever since I turned back to God, it's been war. Um, <clears throat> and ever since I had my son, it's been war. And this is why I go back to my blood type. Because they didn't think that people that look like me had this blood type. So... It's been war, okay? Um, it's been war. Um, rumors and rumors of war. So yes, I turned back to God, El Elyon. I call him El Elyon, which is most high God in Hebrew, supposedly in Hebrew. But I just like how it rolls off my tongue. It just sounds right to say El Elyon. <clears throat> And I thank him in the mighty name of Jesus. And I still call his name Jesus, even though people want to call him Yeshua and all that in his Hebrew tongue. But he said in another, in another language, in another language, he will, um, he will come and speak to his pe his people. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I am basically just chilling. I'm going to make videos every day um, just to stay active on YouTube. Um, 
like I said, if I'm not on YouTube, it's because I'm being spiritually attacked. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that's okay. That's just fine. <clears throat> Leon got me. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus, Black Jesus, the real Messiah. <laughs> like I, like they said, on the eastern part of the world, he's black. But in the mid, in the in the western western part of the world, he is Caucasian. There's something to go off. There's something to go off. <laughs> anyway, the truth shall set you free. But like they say, first it's gonna piss you off. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just wanted to come on here and tell y'all I am doing better. Um, I just know everything will be better um, once I move. Um, like I said, I'm saving to move, so I'm just going to work my butt off. I could have worked full time. It's just that the drugs that they had me on um, was messing with my mental and the fact that this therapist said that they wrongfully diagnosed me all these years. And he, he was like, I don't even see nothing wrong with you, to be honest. So getting a second opinion away from people who set it up that way in the first place. Just getting a second opinion from outside of the cult, <laughs> the culprit, the cult, um, was refreshing, you know. Um, I don't think sticking up for yourself is a mental illness. I think you wanting somebody to be have that slave mentality is a mental illness. It's evil and wicked. Um, and I'm not nobody's slave, okay? But yeah. Um. <laughs> um so yeah, um, I'm going to be working my butt off. Like I said, I wasn't working full. I'm, I'm a full time employee, but I wasn't working full time because I was on, on a, I was on a healing journey. And every time I'm on a healing journey and I start my healing journey over, I get attacked. <laughs> People all over my business, everything. Um, every time I make a change, I get attacked. You know. Um, and I knew I was getting attacked because my son came to me personally and told me there's wickedness afoot okay if my son didn't say a word I bet you I still would have carried on but no I couldn't sleep I couldn't eat I couldn't do anything when it came to my son telling me what he told me okay and he's still telling me okay so yeah, he was excited to go with his dad. <laughs> That's all that matters. I'm in the war zone. So I'm just going to stay in my room, like I said, and just work. I blocked who I needed to block. Um, I got unlimited everything on my phone. So, <laughs> so yeah, I will be... Um, getting that together um yeah 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 i got hair stuck on my necklace so yeah, i'm trying to pull it out i might have to cut it off but yeah y'all um that's the update i just wanted to come on here tell y'all everything is good um me and his father are just being cordial um, yeah. How is it that the baby mama is always still in love with the baby daddy, but the baby daddy just hate the baby mama? <laughs> he said he doesn't hate me. He said he's not a, he didn't say he wasn't attracted to me or not. He just don't want a relationship or whatever. And I understand. I understand. It's like trauma is trauma. It was bad in the beginning and what, what makes you think it wasn't really bad. It just got bad <sighs> when people started getting involved in our situation. That's when it got bad. When we couldn't 
and just be parents, all right? But yeah, when other people get in your mix and there's so many he said, she said stuff going on, it, it just fucks up the whole vibe. So yeah. So yeah, I don't know. But we're cordial and that's all that matters. We both love our child. He's in his child's life and that has, that's all that matters. Um, no, I will never, ever, ever put him on child support because he's always been supportive of our child. Um, and I know what child child support does to, to the father. And it affects the child all because of greed. Um, now, I understand there are some fathers who are not in their child's life regardless. But there are many, many men out there are willing to be in their child's life majority of the time so yeah sometimes uh people just want to women want to put their men on child support right away (laughs) right after the baby is born because that's what their agenda was the whole time and i don't even care if my baby daddy was a rich baby daddy I would never put him on child support because that just means he got my son for life if he's a rich baby daddy then you know I'll take care of myself um so yeah (laughs) um so yeah people uh hating um you know hating as per usual and getting in my way per usual um ain't nothing new under the sun Like I said, every time I make a change, every time I do something new, every time God blesses me with something, here come, here they come, here they come, here they come. (laughs) So yeah, so yeah, slowly gaining my independence back. The fact that they try to attack me, try to attack my job and everything is like, you know what, God, thank you for showing me my enemies. <laughs> thank you for showing me my enemies. Um, the The fact is, God said he his temple is built with no, by no man's hands. Okay, so you got church folks dedicated church folks doing the most thinking that God's walking with them and God be walking could be walking with a bum on it uh, a bum on the street more than he's walking with them okay <laughs> mm. they pray for your downfall and while they're praying for your downfall God is blessing you Ooh, so yeah, I've been pray. I pray every day. I pray every morning. I thank El Elyon for waking me up in the morning. Um, I tell him, I ask him uh, to forgive me whatever um, evil comes. I just tell him to forgive me. Um, yeah. They say pray for your en- he says pray for your enemies, but <laughs> uh, I feel like the enemy should be praying for themselves. Okay. So yeah. Um so yeah, y'all. I know people are hating if you're in the same boat. They're passing laws, they're doing all kinds of things. They told me I'm dangerous. So I can't possess a gun. And I'm telling them, I'm telling the government of Iowa, the courts of Iowa, I never needed a gun. My voice and my mind is a weapon. And that's the problem. I don't need a weapon because no weapon formed against me, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Okay. (laughs) Ooh. So I want to thank El Elyon in the mighty name of Jesus for blessing me, waking me up this morning, always having a smile on my face, always giving me a reason to smile, uh, making sure I have everything I need, making sure my son has everything he needs, 
and making sure my son is loved properly um, and taken care of properly. Um, I'm just praying for my own place again. I'm just praying. It feels so good to be sober minded. Y'all, I've been trying to be sober minded since I had him. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have, I thought I was going to push him out of my hoo-ha. No. I remember how everything went down. I was basically forced into a C-section. <laughs> the, 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 the way that they rushed my pregnancy was crazy. Getting on Percocet and a pharmaceutical ibuprofen for my C-section messed me up um I couldn't go back to work physically ever since every time I feel better um they want to hit me with drugs again which makes me fucked up again and then when I'm sober minded which I'm very so I've been I've been sober minded for uh what's it I've been sober minded for is it Seven, Tuesday, it's the seventh day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've been sober minded for 12 days. No drugs, no nothing. Seven days. <laughs> no, thir 12 days, 12 days, see? The number 12. 12 dimensions, 12 tribes, 12 zodiacs. 12, 12, 12, 12 gates, yes, for 12 days, and then today's the Sabbath, uh, and I feel like finally I can keep the Sabbath holy, because man, I was vaping for a long time, and it was a, it took forever to get off the vape, because everything stressed me out, but now it feels so good to, to be stressed, it's like I can handle stress better, I can handle stress better. Um, and if I have a problem, I just go to God, you know, um, <laughs> I could go back into the word and I heard that they're trying to ban the Bible, especially the King James version, the truthful Bible, <laughs> the one that was actually translated by 47, um, my bad, 47 prophets. Uh, 47 scholars, I should say. Sorry, my light went out, but it might go out again. Um, so I, I guess I'm going to just... <laughs> Sorry, went out again. Um, so I guess I'm just going to end it here. Peace. Natural New Queen is signing out. Hope you have a good day, evening, noon, or night, or whatever time you're watching. Peace. <laughs>